kind of fan. See, we don't want to yell, we don't want to scream. We want her to be as calm as possible because she's getting a gigantic haircut today. She hasn't had a haircut in a one year. Oh my gosh, who here's had a haircut before? Yeah, okay. Um, when you first, if you, if, if, if you can remember back to your first haircut, is it a little scary? It's kind of a little bit nervous. Yeah, or maybe when you like first get your fingernails trimmed. Do you remember how nervous you were when you get your first fingernails trimmed? It's a little, it's a little nervous. Um, and so, so, so we have Fancy here, and she is getting a haircut. She doesn't do this too often. She does this once a year, so she gets a little bit nervous. So we're gonna put her into a calming position. Ooh, look at that. This is called flipping a sheep. Have you heard of this, flipping a sheep? And it kind of puts them in a little bit more of a calm state of restraint. I kind of think of it like scruffing a cat. Anyone here have a cat at home? You have a kitty cat at home? And maybe if you want your kitty cat to calm down, you might scruff its neck and it kind of mimics uh, a, a behavior where it kind of calms down a little bit. So yeah, so we've got, we've got Trevor here. Trevor is our professional sheep shearer and he's gonna talk to you a lot more about this process when he's done since we got started a little early. And we're just gonna go for it and start showing you how they get their hair cut. So why do you think we have to give the sheep this haircut? Why is their wool a little different from like those goats of it? What is, what's a little bit different about it? Maybe maybe you can compare it to yourself. Um, well, their hair is much hairier and it's also like soft, so people cut it through. That's exactly right! Ooh, I'm so sorry. That's exactly right, high five! All right, yeah, so they get their hair cut because they have been bred to have this really unique kind of hair or fur that we call wool and that people can turn into clothing, right? You can wear this wool or you can stuff it inside a pillow. It's very soft. You'll get a chance to feel the wool that comes off when at the end. Uh, and I'll actually maybe come by with a little bit of it. And so they have been bred for this wool that keeps on growing. It grows and grows and grows. And what would happen if you never cut your hair? It would get so long. It may even get uncomfortable. You definitely have to put it up. You'd have to style it. Our sheep don't rock the braids uh, very well. So instead, they get this once a year sheep shearing. Some sheep will actually get it more than that. They might get it twice a year. It depends on the sheep and, uh, uh, and a little bit about their wool. Now, Fancy here is called a Shetland sheep. And Shetland sheep are really cool because they have a lot of different color patterns to their wool. Ooh, check that out. We've got the belly wool here. Let's show that around. We've got some belly wool here. You want to feel that? So the belly wool actually gets taken off first, and it's not used as much in the clothing because when, when Fancy lies down, what happens to the wool on her belly? It gets really dirty. <laughs> yeah. So they might not use this wool as much as they might uh, for the rest of it. And you can see as Trevor's kind of going around and taking the wool off, he's taking it all off at once. It creates one big blanket, like you can see from Felicity. Felicity got shorn earlier today, and so she has that big blanket that's left on the stage that you'll be able to touch in just a little bit. So yeah, if you if you Muriel's Ranch yard before, you may have felt the goat. Who here has pet a goat before? Yeah? Who here has pet the sheep before? Ooh, maybe not. The goats are a lot like dogs. They tend to be a little bit more friendly, a bit more tolerant. They actually enjoy meeting new people and, uh, and getting touched by people or brushed. The sheep are a little bit more like cats, right? The cat, a cat, you kind of, you know, they need to warm up to you a little bit, right? They need to get to know you. So our sheep can kind of be like that. Our sheep do know Shrub.
Trevor, because he has done this a few years in a row now. So he has gotten to know them a little bit. And that uh, doesn't make him necessarily the most popular person with the sheep, because obviously if it's just a, a little bit of a scary thing, it's like going to the dentist. Your dentist might not be your most favorite person. But it's a very important person in your life, right? Very important person, because they have to make sure you're nice and healthy. So we do shear the sheep, and it is part of their health. If we didn't shear them, their hair would go, grow really long and be very uncomfortable for them. Uh, and it could actually lead to other problems with the heat or with their skin. They actually produce, you might, when you're feeling this wool, you might notice that it's a little bit oily. They produce an oil called lanolin. Have you heard of lanolin? Have you heard of lanolin before? Yeah, it's actually used in other products. It can be like a moisturizer. And it helps to lubricate the hair and keep them, keep them healthy. Oops. Now you'll notice as, as fancy is being sheared here, Trevor is utilizing a sling. When you first walked in here, you might have thought that the sheep was gonna go into the sling. But no, that's actually a little more support for Trevor since he's bending over to shear the sheep throughout the day. So the, some, some shearers might shear a, a hundred sheep in a day. So they might need to be they need that support from this length. The sheep, again, are put into this kind of position to sort of add restraint and reduce some of their stress. A lot of times when you have an animal that is restrained really well, they'll actually calm down a bit and just let you, let you do what you have to do with them. That. So we'll we'll get another chance. We'll we'll give you a chance to feel Fancy's wool. Did you notice? Notice as she's being shorn here, the hair that is on the top, that's on the outside that we saw when she walked up, is a little bit different than the wool that's kind of on the inside, on the underside. It's even a little bit of a, di a different color. What color does she look as her wool's coming off here? What color does it look? Yeah? Isn't she got a little pink, the pinkness of her skin showing through? And the wool might be a little bit lighter in color, like a lighter gray or a white color, versus the darker color gray that she was showing off as she walked up here. <laughs> she might feel pretty good after this haircut, I think, getting rid of all that wool. Do you guys, while we're, while we're finishing up and we're going to listen to Trevor talk a little bit about how he started uh, learning and shearing sheep, do you guys have any questions for me about the sheep, about fancy, that maybe I can help you with? Let's see, what's your question? What's your question? Yeah, so this is a year's worth of wool. So, so that's a great question. Uh, this, this, they were last shorn last April, and so this is, is about a year's worth of wool. So you can see just how much hair, and it actually grows back really quickly um, at first. So they'll actually be kind of poofy again in about a month or so. We have a question over here. Let's hear your question. My question is when, um, when you, when, when you cut a wool, when you cut hair off of the sheep, it comes back every time. That is a very good statement. It does come back. Their hair grows back just like our hair for the most part. I guess there are some exceptions maybe, depending on your hair pattern. But yeah, when we cut our hair, it can actually grow back even healthier. So, uh, any other questions in this area? Yeah? How thick is the fur? Well, the different sheep will have different thicknesses uh, of the fibers themselves. 
Um, some some wool is considered very fine, and so some of the more expensive clothing items may be made out of this very fine wool. And some of it might be a little bit thicker for things like blankets and stuff. So that's a great question. When you go up there, you'll actually get to feel the difference in, in, the, in the types of wool that are up there. Question here. Does the sheep ever get uncomfortable when it has no wool? Ooh, great question. Does a sheep ever get uncomfortable once it has no more wool? That's a really good question. So some places, they, they really got to pay attention to when they shear the sheep. Fancy's getting the better of it. <laughs> so they have to pay attention so that they shear the sheep um, at a time that they can be, um, that they can expect to be comfortable when it comes to temperature and even precipitation, right? They don't want to shear sheep right before maybe it's going to snow, right? Or else you might have to put a blanket on them or something. That's a lot of work. So yeah, so the people that shear the sheep, they, they do pay very close attention to where they live. If they're in New Zealand or Australia, it's actually gonna be winter time right now, right? So they're not maybe shearing their sheep right now. Maybe they're gonna shear them in the sum, spring or summertime. So that's a really great question. <laughs> so fancy, oh, looking good with her new haircut. And after this, she does get a, a, a fun treat. This is going to be a fun little spa day for her. She's, she's got the haircut, and she's going to maybe go and, and get some good goodies for being a good sport out here. And uh, I know you guys still have some questions, so what we're going to do is Trevor's going to show off fancy, Fancy's wool blanket here. Let's, let's watch the magic. Let's be nice and quiet as Fancy kind of walks out of here. Nice and quiet. I know. I know. It's we want. I want to applaud that blanket too. We just want Fancy to be nice and comfortable. Okay, she's walking out, and then we're gonna ask Trevor to put on his mic so that you guys can um, learn a bit about how.